Okay guys, welcome back. For the most part, everything is dry here. We're gonna work on the next section, which is painting ties. So, um, you know, some of this gravel isn't dry yet. You can see I touch it and it comes up. That's okay, don't worry about it. Uh, we need to get through painting ties first and ballasting and gluing that all down before we get to some of that. I have my materials for this next step in front of you. I'm gonna show you how to do this. So what we have is uh, one of the cheap acrylics called chocolate bar, one that is burnt umber. This is a good one for uh, weathering rust. Um, this is a metal, uh, just like a paint mixing dish. Paintbrush, you wanna find one that's comfortable for you, but it's also wide enough that you get your ties in one brush stroke. That's pretty much all you need to worry about there. And pipette and water. I'll show you what to do here in just a second. Okay, so like before, be sure to shake your paints well. We're actually going to start with just one. So shake. We'll go ahead and start with the uh, chocolate bar. It really doesn't matter. Just pick one. You're gonna take, let me move this over so you can see it a little better. You're just gonna put a little bit in there like that. Take your water and your pipette. And you're gonna just add a few drops of water. These are acrylic paints, they dilute with water. You just don't want it to be, you just don't want it to be super thick or you're gonna lose all of that uh, wood detail on your ties. Then you can take your brush, move a light here, it's kind of in my way. You're gonna take your brush, mix it in with the water, just like this. and you'll have it be a little thinner, which is what you want. I also like having um, a paper towel nearby just so that if you do have extra paint, you can wipe it off on that. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to just randomly pick ties. And let me move my light again here so you guys can see a little bit better. You're gonna randomly pick ties and paint them. So just nice and gentle over, be sure to get the outsides just like that. That's pretty much all you do. It doesn't have to be uniform. It can just be random ties. Um, you can do some close to each other, some far apart. You don't want it to be uniform or it will look systematic instead of looking uh, true to life, which is more random. In fact, we'll do a couple side by side right there. I'm gonna go ahead, run down the line painting basically all three of these tracks randomly. And I'll be back, I'll show you what we're gonna do next. One thing I do wanna note is that you can see here, I got paint on the ties already when I was doing the ground cover. These are always good spots just to use this on because you're gonna help hide the fact that you got paint from the ground cover on it. It's gonna look a lot more natural. And then when we get into the weathering, of the track uh, towards the end, you'll see how that even grows beyond that. One other thing I like to mention too, is don't get fresh paint every single time you go to a tie. So for example, we're gonna paint this tie. I just dipped it in the paint, but then we're gonna pick another tie and go ahead and go over it. And you're gonna see how you have this one a little more intense in color and this one not as intense in color. That's gonna give you more of that random real life variation that you want. Okay, first color's done. Wanted to give you a little bit better view so I move the camera so you can see kind of what that top down looks like there and uh, see how you can see, you can start to spot up these ties that are painted. The next step that I want you to do is take what you have left in here, just go ahead and wipe it out quick with your paper towel doesn't need to be cleaned or fancy. I'll explain that more later. And we're gonna move on to our next color. So that was our chocolate bar. We're gonna go into burnt umber next. Same thing, a little bit of paint. Oh, sorry, a little bit of paint. And I moved my water. We're gonna do a little bit of water. that. 
and mix it again. Okay. So that's going to give us our next color. I want you to do the same thing again. You're going to take your paint, you're going to dab, start picking other random ties, go over them like this, pick another random one, use your dry brush, and then if you ever pick up rocks or um, some of the static grass on the end of your brush, you know, uh, kind of like that, you can see it there. Uh, that's why I have the paper towel nearby, you just wipe it on there. If you get paint on your rails, no big deal. You can use the paper towel or you can use your finger and just wipe it off. We're gonna clean the rails when we're done done, uh, but uh, it just helps you when it's wet. That way it doesn't uh, stick uh, as well, I should say. Um, so anyway, so do the same thing again. Um, pick some random ties, go all over them. Use the whole, this is uh, getting close to what's called dry brushing. So it's where you have just very little paint in your brush that you're using. And uh, go over your whole section that you're detailing. Same thing, I'm gonna do all three tracks. I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, last step. So that's done. Now, I want you to go back to your chocolate bar. We're gonna add it right into what's existing right there, still in the in the uh, paint tray, whatever you wanna call that. Couple more drops of water. Mix again. So what this is doing is this is giving us, basically by the time we're done, four different colors along with varying shades of those colors. And so by four, I mean you have your track already spray painted, which is the one of the earlier videos on my channel of how to quickly and easily paint your track. So you already have that. That's your unpainted ties right here. You have your chocolate brown, which as these dry, these are gonna be your moment. Here, let me, let me do this and kind of zoom in for you so you can see. These ties are gonna be kind of that moment where you're like, Oh man, what did I do? They're gonna be very bright in color when they're done drying, and you will kind of worry for a second. And I'm gonna tell you right now, don't worry, it's gonna be okay. You have the burnt umber that you just painted, and now you have the new color. And so same thing as the others, go in, pick your random ties, like that, and paint all of it one more time. I'm gonna be right back with you as soon as I paint all these. Okay guys, we got that done. You can see the color variation starting to show up here in the ties, which is what we want. We're going to let this dry for a few hours and uh, then we're gonna go on to the next steps, which is ballasting. And I'm going to also show you guys how to make your own scenic glue which is going to save you a lot of money in the long run. We'll be back soon.